wants us to understand tonight that trouble is our friend. It's revival in the midst of trouble. The revival I'm talking about is the quickening of the Spirit of God. The moving, the power of the Holy Ghost is attracted to times of trouble. So I've said all that to say this. Friend, don't be like an ostrich with your head in the sand in these perilous times, in these days of trouble, and think, oh my God, look what the devils are doing. We might as well just quit and give up, or and what's the use? No, my friend, God says, I gave you power over these devils. I gave you authority. And you need to understand, according to Daniel 7 and 25, about the Antichrist, the Bible said he's going to speak great words against the most high. He's been doing that. Been speaking against this book. Hello? And he's going to wear out the saints. That means of the most high. That means he's going to come and just bring that old wearing out feeling. He's going to, he's going to just, just, just tell you to quit. Just give up. What's the use in it? We're in that season. Has anybody felt that late? Well, if you be transparent, just quit, like I was saying earlier. That's what he was saying. And, and, and just wear you out. And he said, and he will think to change the times and the laws. My God, that spirit's doing that now. Amen. It's setting the stage for this man of sin or perdition. And then he said, for a time and times and dividing of times, it will be given into his hand. But the Bible said in verses uh, 26 of Daniel 7, that his throne and his throne, God said, his throne shall sit or rule, and God says what he's going to do right here in the midst of it, amen, he's going to take his dominion and he is going to destroy it at the end. In other words, Satan's only going to have it for a moment. We win. I said we win. He's coming back. You've come too far to look back now. You've gone too far in God if you've served him a second to turn around now. And to let something tell you we're out. In Psalm 68, verse 7 through 9, I'm going to close with this. The Bible said in the word of the Lord, when the people, when God marched through the wilderness, his people with him, the Bible said the heavens dropped and the earth shook at the presence of God. And even Sinai itself was moved at the presence of God. In Psalm 68, verses 9, and said when his inheritance or his people, his chosen ones, were weary. He did confirm them with a plentiful rain. These scriptures were coming to me in this plentiful rain. I mean, it was flash flooding earlier. It was, it was raining so hard on the roads, amen, that they couldn't drain off fast enough. I mean, it was, I mean, big wash. It looked like a, a canal in some places I've just come through. Water just waves of it on either side, driving through it. Amen. I thought for a moment I was uh, over there at Wild Adventures on that boat coming down in that water. <laughs> My favorite ride over there. Wall of water go up. Amen. Me and Dylan, Dylan's about, I don't know, 240. I'm probably about that. Today I'm probably 250. Um, and then I had another friend. He's about 270 something. Then we had another guy. He was uh, 150 or whatever. All four of us got on the front so all the weight could be there. You talking about a wave. <laughs> And the waves were going out from my tire wall. I mean, we were literally going, the whole road was washed out in places. Amen. One time the car kind of tried to hide the plane there. I said, Whoa, glory to God. Amen. But, but anyhow, I saw a plentiful rain. Hallelujah. And I was thinking, I can remember as a little boy, not when it was lightning, but when it rained like that, boy, that was some of the best playing time. I, ooh, right in there, that water running, glory to God, and, and playing around. And I thought, oh, Lord, God sent a refreshing, plentiful rain in these latter times, a revival right in the midst of trouble that will refresh your little ones. And I heard Daddy say, go tell my children tonight I want them to play in the rain again. from moving. That ain't going to stop me from showing my power. Come on, somebody. Somebody shout you may be wore out. But don't you quit now. Because pour out's on the way. Wore out will be replaced with a pour out. Friend, God's going to have the last move. That's what I read of. When your enemy shall come in like a flood, the Spirit of the Lord shall lift up a standard against him. Isaiah 59, verse 19. Somebody say, when he comes. When he comes. Now, God didn't say if, but when. when. He said, but I'm going to lift up a standard. Meaning, I'll have the last move. Amen. 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 Listen to this. So shall they fear thy name from the east and to the west. And he said, when this enemy comes in like a flood. 
I'll lift up a standard against him. That very scripture teaches me that God's a gentleman. He'll let the devil go first. Amen. Brother, I didn't mean to be pointing at you when I said he'll let the devil go first. <laughs> Amen. I would call him the devil. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. He said, I'll let him go first, but I'll have the last one. Satan been moving in your life lately? Hold on. If anybody's leaving, it'd be the devil. Amen. He's a quitter, you ain't. Right. There ain't no quitter in you. JC ain't a quitter. Amen. Jesus Christ is no quitter. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. He didn't quit on the cross. He finished on the cross. Amen. Amen. Somebody shout, he ain't finished yet. He's coming back. Amen. Don't you give up now. I'm telling you, in a day of trouble, there's a revival coming. There's a move of the Holy Ghost. God's letting the devil set the stage. He's letting darkness and gross darkness come upon the earth. But he would say, Arise and shine. Your light is come. And the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. Isaiah 60, verses 1. Ain't it amazing in verses 1? He said, Darkness comes to the earth and gross darkness too. You know what gross darkness is? You ever been in gross darkness? You stick your hand up in front of your face. You can feel the heat off your hand, but you can't even see the outline of it. <laughs> Friend, we're living in that time. The evil, it is gross darkness. But right in the middle of it, God said, Arise. Don't you quit. Don't you lay down. Don't you pass out. Look at your neighbor and say, You can pass out or pass through. Don't you lay down. Arise. Get up. Praise God because we're going up. Jesus is coming. Hallelujah. We're going to see miracles, signs, and wonders because when you study the book of Acts, you find this one thing happening. God pouring out his power and then being persecuted. God pouring out his power, then being more persecuted. God pouring out more of his power, then being more and more persecuted. Amen. It's the persecution power point. Friend, for every time their church was persecuted more, God poured out more of his power. That's why they saw signs and wonders. And that's why in some nations they see miracles. Amen. That we just read and hear about over here. Amen. Because there, amen, glory to God, their life and their faith is so threatened. Hallelujah. And they go through places uh, where they ain't got nobody but God to turn to. Uh, hallelujah. That trouble becomes their friend. Uh, and that's why they see the power of God. Uh, friend, somebody shout, we're going to see his power too. Uh, don't you quit now. You may be feeling that weariness. Uh, hallelujah. God said, I'm going to confirm my inheritance. Uh, when she's weary, I'm going to send a plentiful rain. Uh, I don't know about you. You better rise up, say, because I hear the sound. Put in a band of Lord, I thank you. You rain, and you're going to send rain. Hallelujah. Somebody say, call him up. He'll come in. Amen. He'll come down. Thank you, Lord. Let it rain. You know any songs about the rain? Look at your neighbor and say, put your umbrella of unbelief up tonight. I got umbrellas. I got them everywhere at the house. That's the problem. They always hit the house when I'm out of the room. I had to get wet tonight. Amen. But I thought it don't matter. I'm about to swell up my jacket again. Hallelujah. So I said, let it rain. Let it rain. Open the floodgates. Let it rain. Open the floodgates. Have you been wore out? Come trade wore out for poor out. God said, in your troubles when I said revival. Church is saying, Brother Marvin, my God, he's booted the revival. Now all hell's breaking loose. We may have to cast it. I said, Don't do that. That's a good sign. God says revival in the midst of trouble. Yes, he
remember earlier when I was preaching, you know, two hours ago, I stopped. Demons, when they come out of a man in Matthew 12, 34, I believe it is, and they walk through dry places. In Luke 8, Jesus cast demons out and told them to go into the pigs, and the pigs said, We know how to get them out, let's go to the water. Somebody shout, Devils thrive in dry places. Ephesians 5 26 said that he cleanses and sanctifies his church by the washing of the water by the word. That's why demons love a wordless church. They love, they love churches that do everything but preach. Because when you're preaching the word, it's like an irrigation system. Every time we preach it, Pastor, we're going. Devils like dry places. They don't like where. What you do when you're praising God. Same. When you're praising God, you're doing the same. You're you're with that spirit. When you start praying, you're you're beginning to win that spirit. Somebody shout if anybody leaves tonight, it'll be that dry day. Look at your neighbor and say, if you don't want to get wet, you better move from where I'm at. Me. Upon them I'll send no rain. Zechariah 14 17. God said to the people of the land, if you don't worship me, I won't send rain. Shit, I'm gonna end it in a high. Yeah, I'm gonna go to the 
Ah, refreshed. You need to take up the towel. You need to tie a knot into it. Hallelujah. And keep serving God. For they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They'll mount up with wings as an eagle. They'll run and not be weary. They'll walk and they'll not faint. The word wait means like a waiter in a restaurant. Serving. Not sitting around idly doing nothing. Hallelujah. But fervent in spirit. Hallelujah. Continuing in prayer. Fervent in spirit. Serving the Lord. Romans 12 and 11. Amen. Wrap up. Hallelujah. Get up. Glory to God and keep serving God. You've served him too long to quit now. I prophesy you will quit the quit. Hallelujah. Receive this refreshing rain. Yeah. Let it rain. 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 Let it r